Hello. 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 How's everyone doing? Everyone is fine. Nice day. Let's watch it. Um. Yeah. I've got something I want to tell you. Recently. I've been getting a few messages from a few people, and one of them, I had not been really looking at going to a ship, but it's starting a bit weird and creepy, just a bit, literally. So he sent me a message on the 12th of the 1st, right, which was last Thursday, a week ago for me. And I was like, yeah, it's 3.51 in the morning, yeah, I'm not really awake by then. This is the game tag. It's in bad sport. Can't see his friends. And I've been a... Um, and he started to, um, send me a few random random creepy messages and it's probably more I can't get them all up because I've got to I went back by two weeks and deleted so many just to get have them so yeah so hey you like YouTube I'm recording you right now that it be on shortenator gamer da 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 up soon as soon means neither you can't post Post a real video, probably can't even edit my own yourself. Post the gameplay like you say or close your channel as shit. Well mate. That's one of these messages. I deleted one of them. Because we're quite fair, I deleted by mistake. <laughs> when you press the blue button, the message gets deleted. So he says you talk a lot on the twelfth of the first, four thirty nine PM. And he says, come on, it's way more fun, the whole place is bad, it's just like NZ, he was in bad sport, so I thought I'd go and join him, see what he's really, really, really about. Um, I have no desire to speak to you in parties, so what, you're going to say for, oh, through here, bully, yes, bully, and yes, I know your story. That's when I thought, okay. He knows something, which I don't give a fuck. Public information out there. My name is Anthony Kinney. Shit happens. I live in Cromwell, New Zealand. I have a job. I have a life. What else do you want to know? My phone number? 021-262-7381. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't give a fuck if you got my number. You want to add me on Snapchat? Shortenator? Do it. I don't care. Honestly, I don't give a shit what people think. This kid thinks I'm a bully, which I quite fear. I haven't heard that for a very long time because when I was probably about 12, I used to be called a bully. And I used to get suspended from school when I was 12 years old. Uh, 12, yeah, 11, 12 years old. 2000, 2001, 2002, I used to be a little asshole. And yes, I was a bully. And I still got a letter, my mum and my dad found the other day, they sent me an email the other day and they said to me, here look, and it was a letter from my teacher, dating yeah, that year or something, saying that your son has been suspended for six days or something crazy or five days, I don't know how many days it was, but it was for using verbal abusive language to a teacher and using harm to a student. <laughs> and other things just say I went to a Catholic school and it wasn't nice <laughs> I told the teacher that God doesn't exist which I do not believe my parents forced me to go to school so I forced them went there I didn't give a shit didn't believe in that shit I still didn't believe it when I was 12 it's all right now <laughs> and it's funny so yeah I've been suspended I've been even expelled. Got expelled in 2004. You know about that, do you? Hey? 
Just to give you a clue of the three letters of the school I went to. STC. It was in Canterbury. I won't tell you anymore. It was at Canterbury College. That might give you some bells, Mr. K's. KZ 1100A3. I'm going to call you American. I don't know. Fuck face. So, yeah. And this guy's sending me the bullshit messages. So I was trying to delete those. That's how I deleted it. Really? Can you spell? <laughs> Yo, Anthony. How's the new year treating you? Sorry. A S Z. This was on the 17th, which was on Tuesday. And today's the 19th. And I don't reply. And then he said, Glad to hear good reasons to survive. For you, the fuck. Glad to hear good reasons to survive. I'm reading on a screen, it doesn't come up properly. <laughs> so why this for you, really? Threatening, mate. So you like to tell people you're going to put them on YouTube. And don't, mate. You're on YouTube. Congratulations. <laughs> I've been forbidden to expose you further, but I'm looking at a picture of you when you were younger. So that gave me alarm bells because I thought he's looking on my Facebook page and that's public information if you know my name and know how to spell my last name but there is something out there guys there's two Facebooks of myself one's fake one's real one's used now one doesn't get used same picture same everything but one's got 60 friends one's got 1,000 odd friends and I've tightened up my security since then because I thought, nah, fuck it, you can't find me anymore. So I did. I thought, yeah, that'd be it. And I thought, that's nice. Same old story, some old song and dance, my Kiwi friend. So, it's a photo of you on a young, unfortunate kid's hospital bed, and it's you. So what he's done, he looked up a thing I did in 2008, which is nearly nine years ago. And I was 18 at the time, and I gave moral support to a young kid who, I think it's been 11, his name's Jesse Pycroft. Um, I'll leave a link down below in the description, you can go look it up, I don't mind. Um, I was on the front page of the paper here in New Zealand, I was on TV media outlets all around New Zealand as well as, I was on TV news stations and I got interviewed several times because I was on TV for being good-ish. And it was actually really, really good. So, um, here's the link, if you really want to look up something. He was running a transplant, a double transplant, and he's a good kid. Um, I did it because I just finished exams, and on the same day, I went into the hospital, and I did it, and I spent some time with the kid, about three hours, and never told my parents, it's my biggest thing, and my brother, and my other brother, and my other brother, there's four of us, so I said, no, nah, I'm not saying boo to them, it was the next day, when my father was in Wellington, up in the capital of New Zealand, he got a phone call, and he rang my parent mother up, and my mother came down at 6am, and I was already awake, and I already seen the article, and I nearly died when I saw the photo. <laughs> and that was me on the front page of every fucking paper in the country and about 10 papers. And I was shocked. Really, really shocked. It was quite freaky. Because the public one night, and when that happened, it would have been November that year, I'd imagine, um, made me stand out a wee bit. Because... <laughs> It was, uh, it's like, well known to everybody in my school, and I got an award for it. How wonderful, not fuck that awards. But the worst part about it was, because I was 18 years of age, and I did not tell my parents, which they don't need to know, um, because I'm 18, and the school didn't know. 
when I got to that school that day, I had kids who didn't even know me say, oh my god, you're in the paper and all this shit, I'm like, oh fuck. Went to my first class of the day, and at the time, I had a um, bit of one-on-one tutoring happening, and this lady who I know quite well, her name's Vicky, um, she, uh, me and her were having a bit of free time for an hour or two before I actually went and did anything, and me and her went out for a smoke, because we smoked together, what you do in school, <laughs> don't do this smoking in school now, it's too bloody dear. 28 bucks a packet. Well, back in those days, it was six dollars. So, um, me and her went out and had a smoke, and she came back, and she hasn't looked at the paper by this time. And we went to the library afterwards, and it's a public library on a school slash public ground. So, I went to another school up there, leaving uh, Canterbury College. Um, I went to a school called Britain High School, and I went in there, went to the library, and I had people looking at me funny. I thought, oh, what's this thing? Sounds weird and dodgy and random shit. And I thought, what on earth? People looking at me funny and she didn't, couldn't work it out. She said to me, you'd done something. And I'm thinking, no, what do you mean? And I knew I'd done something. But it was when one of the um, main librarian slash teacher said to me, oh, congratulations, Anthony. Um, nice to see you're doing good. And... Vicky, who helps me and do things for me, um, said to me, oh my god, what have you done? And she couldn't believe it. She was, she knows me as bad and evil. <laughs> and that's why she was there for a few reasons. She was looking after me on a few occasions because, yeah, I'm an out-of-control child when I was at school for dyslexia, if you know what that means, and ADHD and other things. So I had someone looking after me four hours a day, yes, not lunchtime, um, and to keep me in this class, I had someone look after me, because I wouldn't stay in classes, I used to bunk, I've got letters of people telling me that I've been bunking, yonks, and people used to, couldn't find me, I'm in a wheelchair, come on, how can you not find me? <laughs> so, we went to the library, we went inside, and she was like, oh my god, what have you done, all this shit, and I'm like, nothing, 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 and I sat down at the coffee shop, and I got a pie and drank and shit, and I brought her one, and she says, not like you to buy me shit, <laughs> and she said to me, um, and then a lady who, I did not have a clue who she was, she was a visitor to the public library, she says, to me, oh, you're in the paper today, congratulations, and so much, you're doing so much good for this kid, and I said, oh my god, please don't have a paper nearby, and then Vicky says, I'm going to be back in a minute, and I thought she was going for a toilet or something, she went and got a paper, she could not stop laughing, <laughs> I can still see her laughing at me, and telling me that I am, <laughs> a lot of things what's come to mind, which were idiot, asshole, why, is this true, and all this shit, she couldn't believe it, because she saw my evil side, not the good side, so, after that, she couldn't stop laughing, and all these people coming up to me, it was really embarrassing, <laughs> see someone on the front page of the paper in a coffee shop, and um, the person who was reading it at the time was beside me, and she was reading the article, and she was looking around it, and she spotted me, and then she looked at the paper, looked at me, looked at the paper, looked at me, and she said, that's yours, and I said, yep. <laughs> so she was confused as anything. So I didn't say anything after that, and she got really, <laughs> she was concerned. <laughs> uh, maybe made me laugh, of here. But went to the next class, and we were having the last, was, uh, I can't remember, our social studies or something crazy, or math. We went there, and not one kid knew, said the teacher, teacher aid thing I had him with me and my dean of the year and I hadn't seen my dean prior to that and I went sat down and we all hide in my area of my classroom and I was just sat there and I saw her coming and she was clapping from my other because she saw me through the window I thought oh god so I said to the teacher I need to go to the toilet so I did a runner <laughs> And my teacher, who knew, she said, I know why you're running. I said, yep, I'm out of here. So I did a runner. 
and I shall be back when the it's all gone. And she was literally hunting for me for ages. And back in those days, cell phones weren't really around. So I had a phone call, and it was from her. And she says to me, I'm waiting here in the classroom. You've been in the toilet for 20 minutes. What is taking you so long? <laughs> and I thought, no, nah, I'm not going back. So I didn't go back. And after that, I thought, no, nah, I can't go back to that. No. Nah. So I text my, my um, teacher aid type thing. I said, no, nah, I'm not going back. She says, okay, I'll see you in the next class. So she, we met halfway and we talked to each other and we were at the next class. But she thought I had to go back and get my bag and stuff. And I don't need to because she does my Vicky used to do it all for me. So she was all sweet. And I was in the next class really sat inside with graphics. I remember really clearly. And a, she could not find me still. She was still ringing me constantly and texting me constantly saying, if you don't get here now, you're going to be in trouble. And the teacher heard my phone go off. And... <laughs> I can still remember her face, or his face, and he said, oh, I can't see who's on the phone. I said, okay, go ahead, and he stopped, he just said, what the hell? It was a teacher talking to a teacher, <laughs> and he just says, you're an idiot, <laughs> in front of his whole class, he says, why? He didn't send the paper, thank God, so it was good, but oh. You can read the article, guys. It's interesting. There's a few other articles if you can find them. I think the TB ones. I don't know if they're still available. The archives are still out there somewhere. But back in those days, it was fun. Really fun. Man, I was a little shit. I've been called a little shit all my life. Um, my nickname at school was Where Is He? That was the first thing the teacher always used to say. And that via messaging me, where is he? Where are you? Why aren't you here? Where are you? Um, I'm calling the police. Where are you? That used to make me come because, yeah, I've had the police called on me a few times when I was at school. When I went missing a few times without people knowing and my parents didn't really know because they couldn't really find out with my age and all that sort of shit. So I did a runner one day. And I went somewhere, and um, I got a phone call, and it was a senior constable, something, can't remember those days, senior constable, something, and I didn't answer it, I went to the music, played voicemail. When I heard that, I nearly shat myself, I thought, oh my god, there's, someone, there's cops following me, looking for me now, and I'm in public sight. And by then I had another hoodie on, didn't look like anything, and I thought, yep, yeah, I'm screwed. And I was heading back to school anyway, I thought, gotta go back, gotta go back, gotta go back, gotta go back. And um, I went back, and I could not believe how many police were there. There were shit tons. And I was like, shit, these cops everywhere really looking for me. And man, did I get the riot that day. <laughs> I can tell you now, my parents didn't find out about it two years later, and I hushed it up by using other things in life, and I got away with blue murder when I was at school. It kept going with him one day, or two, or three, or four, but I was like, first year of high school, and my other school, when I got expelled, that was the year. Holy hell, all hell broke loose. So, to this young man who likes to say hello to me, I am special and aren't you just special too? It sounds dodgy. Christchurch is a nice place. You're 18 in this photo. And I thought, what the fuck? So he sent me the link. And then he says, tell me you more. I said, well, tell me more then. Tell you more what? This is yesterday. What? You tired to troll me. I killed you in that session. I showed you I could identify you. What's more? And hi. Hi. I looked up you because you were trolling me and saying you knew my IP address. Yeah. 
there was a thing called a modder in the lobby at the time giving out IP addresses. It was in that video the other day. I was going to troll you with, and I saw you already had a shit eye. <laughs> you don't know all of it. I don't want you to join my, I, my, your, I don't want to join a party, so you're making grab my IP. I'm an adult elephant. I'm an adult elephant, really? Anthony, I was going to troll you because you trolled me. Turned out you had an unfortunate life. Oh, I decided not to. That's where it ends. And literally, hey, fuck off. And yeah. And that was yesterday. And he's online. Um, I wanted to tell him that the video will go up tonight. The video. task So, yeah, is this anyone else wants to search me up? The link is in the description. Funny thing is, my YouTube's public, and my name comes up. Anthony, Kenny, it's public information. I'm not scared. I'm not like PewDiePie or other fancy ass people in the world. It's more YouTuber. Don't really care, but quite fair. This guy here, this guy here, this guy here, this guy here is one very interesting James. His name's James. His girlfriend likes to yell extremely loud and tell him fuck with and stuff and um he wants to game with some shit and James Bond as you said um thanks for being my uh new video hope you like it um I know you've been uh looking at my other videos today as well and you saw some random videos of me and uh, I hate him my own voice backwards and forwards so testicles baked in a casserole yep they'll make you think twice but if anyone has ever heard of a song called Fuck, that's all it is. It's from a TV program. It's called The Fuck Song. It was recorded on YouTube in 2009. I can't even what the movie was called. But it's all about fuck, 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 fuck shit. Elephant's penis stuck in a kid and soup, um, all that sort of shit. Um, so about flashing a dick at your pope and all that crap. So if you want to look it up, it's pretty funny. I've got the hit song on my head and it's been in my head for weeks. So yeah guys, I'm going to be, not literally, but I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to better plug this into my major PC, which is my Apple, <laughs> and plug it into that and do it like that because I'm using my HP EVA, uh, EV, ENVY, it's a 17 inch screen, touch screen. It's got a NVIDIA GeForce GTX bloody thing, majiggy. Um, graphics card, a Core i7 processor. It's fancy ass thing, but it's fucking awful at uploading because the Apple has got better software. So, tips. Yeah. 
I'm on the Warframe on TV, which started one second ago. So guys, if you liked it, thumbs it up. People who want to stalk me, keep doing it. I don't give a shit. I'll tell you my phone number like I did. 021-261. I'm not telling you the rest because I can't tell you more of my personal history like you a-holes out there in the world. So yeah. This guy's probably sending my message. No, he hasn't. Alright, guys. I'm going to bed. Ish. <laughs> 9.31 p.m. <sighs> this video is going to go up hopefully by 11.30. But I want to get some sort of stuff sorted out here. Because I could be up at 4 a.m. <laughs> some of us do have work. Yes, Mr. K. Yes, fuckface. I do have a job. I do have a life. I do own my own business. Franchise business started in December last year, and I can tell you now it's fucking painful. Fucking painful. And say carrying and distribution center outlet company I deal with over my local airport, and we deliver shit all around the world. Um, big things, small things. It's a company called a website, which I don't want to tell anyone yet because. I don't need money, you guys don't need to buy stuff off my website, that's that, I don't want anyone buying off my website yet, because I don't need money, I've got a good job, I don't need money from people, it's just like, major YouTubers like tricks and, and all that sort of shit, and I can tell you, it's an electronic good store, it's New Zealand nationwide, Australia, and Asia, and it's a big company, it's cheap, stuff from China, so I get all the good scent here first, and then I'm going to post everything out. Make some money, pay my commission, pay my fucking franchise fee, which I cannot wait. Which is the 27th. 27th? 27th. When is the 27th? I think it's the 27th. It's Friday, 27th. Yeah, Friday, 27th. Which is the 27th. Fuck my god, it's close. That's my first franchise bill. That's going to cost me more. Thousands. But I made a bit of money this month and I'm really happy. And I'd like to thank my brother and my mother and my father for their support. And it's a really fun time at the moment getting everything sorted out. And to my new worker, who I might not name because someone might say it's searching. His name is Andrew, if you really want to know something. His name's Andrew Spencer, if you really want to know something. Stalkers out there, Andrew Spencer. He lives in my city. And, yeah, what else do you want to know? Does he have a dick? So, if you think stalking is fun, kids, don't try it, because you get yourself into trouble. If this kid lived in New Zealand or Australia, there's a thing called knowing people in high places, and Interpol. And if he starts threatening me, and starts telling me that I should go kill myself, um, this video will be used for other reasons. I'll be using it against myself to him, telling him that he needs to go find a life and a job. I can't even bother playing his voice in that voice message because I can't be fucked. I just cannot be bothered. Uh, thanks, Case, because you're a fucking retard. Send me all this shit. I don't care. I've tied my security up. I can't do things like that stuff. Um, dot co dot nz forward slash team boost bureau. The, the waiting transplant teeth, that's fine. You can keep that. I don't give a shit. So yeah, all right guys, I'm going to go. Oh God. Ready? I hope you like it.